I'm Sean. I'm part of Team V looking at COVID-19 impacts for my capstone. I'm, my central hypothesis is uh, looking at the effect of COVID-19 on how people interact with nature. I'm also interested in the effect of age, income, and location on how they interact with nature. The initial data set I was given was pretty messy. There's a lot of weird colors and weird variables. Um, needed lots of cleaning. I found some alignment errors. I had to use Open Refine to help me with the open-ended question responses, and I had to make, lo make lots of judgment calls. And I, I came to those decisions both after meeting with my group and talking to Dr. Wu. And those decisions I've preserved, I've memorialized them both in a tab on my data sheet, and also uh, we'll put them in. The, I have notes, and I'll put them in the methodology when it comes time to writing up. Um, so I've been uh, so example of some of the stuff I did. I found inconsistent coding, especially on the open-ended uh, questions, and so I resolved that by creating five different bins, and I put all the questions, all the responses, into one of these five bins. That will help me with my analysis. Added another column that had 21 additional descriptors that were more specifically matched to people's responses, but I'm probably going to use the main five universal categories for my analyses. Um, the data, again, was collected this year between April and September. I had a total of 347 surveys with 32 variables each, but I'm only going to focus on seven of those variables uh, for my part of our group project. Um, I'm going to look at activity, both um, uh, now and, and normally, dr driving times in the past week or driving distances in the past week, now versus normally, people's health at the start of the pandemic versus when they took the survey, and the beaches that they went to. Um, Quick summary stats, uh, I found that the current activity level is less than the quote, people's quote unquote normal activity level. This is on a scale between minus three and plus three. People are also driving less, only about 29 miles versus almost 300 miles. And people re uh, report that their health is, is degraded compared to the start. And the most popular beaches were Santa Monica, Zuma, and Ventura. I've been playing around with some visualizations, but uh, this is one example where I've looked at the Malibu coast and I've looked at where people were going over time. And it looks like a lot of the people in LA would like to maybe go to the LA beaches. Initially, they were going there, but once the LA beaches closed down, people drove farther and uh, really wanted to get to nature. So they went to Ventura. So my, um, I, I think that it, I, I have found that the things have changed with the pandemic. And my next steps, I'd like to do some more specific rigorous hypothesis testing, do some correlations with some of the demographics, work on um, better visualizations and getting some possibly outside data sets, maybe doing this in GIS. So for example, here's some recent data that I found um, that people are, are starting to publish and it's starting to get easier to get about how people were going out and about during the pandemic. So thanks a lot for listening. You can see more on my website, covidimpacts.cikeys.com. Thanks, everybody.